Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are all of the books that I read in the later half of December. This video is probably going to be this sh one of the shortest wrap ups that I've ever made because <laughs> I did not read that many books towards the end of December. I am currently reading books that are like 500 pages <laughs> almost and so they're taking me a while to get through and I'm okay with that. I'm like accepting reading longer books it's gonna take me a while you know so i've been reading these books for a couple days um right now so i will not have those in this video because i haven't finished them yet so um let's briefly talk about these eight books if you want to know the books that i read at the beginning of december i did already post and film my mid-month wrap-up obviously in December, so that's gonna be linked down below if you wanna check that out. Towards the end of December, we did the Novellathon, and I mentioned briefly in my mid-month wrap-up, just mentioned a few books that I read during the Novellathon because when I filmed my mid-month wrap-up, like we were dead smack in the middle of the Novellathon. Um, so these are um, three other books that I read during the Novellathon that I'll briefly mention. So you can go check out the Novellathon vlog if you want to know my thoughts, opinions, everything about these books. So the group book was Trick Shot by Kayla Gross. We actually also interviewed Kayla Gross on my channel. That'll be also linked down below if you want to go check that out. It was so fun being able to talk to her and pick her brain when it comes to this book and just her writing process. I loved chatting with her. This is an M mf holiday romance that was so hot it was really fun i had a great time reading it um if you just want something that'll like leave you sweating look no further i also read once upon a krampus by katie fraser this is just a very very short sweet monster holiday read our heroine is a widow and she lives in the basically middle of nowhere before her husband died he convinced her to move out into the wilderness and essentially like live off the grid live in a cabin, hunt for your own food, just all that stuff. One day when the heroine is hunting, she ends up like shooting her arrow into what she thinks is a bear, but it's actually Krampus. <laughs> and she quickly realizes her mistake that it's like a sentient being and he's actually being very nice to her. So she invites him back to her cabin to clean his wounds and to apologize, give him a cup of tea. Like, I'm so sorry for shooting you. And it turns into this very sweet holiday read between this heroine and this scary looking Krampus who's actually the sweetest creature ever. And the last one I would love to mention that I read during the Novellathon is Take Me to the River by Casey Rose. I picked this one up because my Libby had it on audio and it was like an audiobook novella to listen to. This is about our heroine who goes on a camping trip with her boyfriend. They're having a really hard time. And while they're on the trip, she ends up finding out that he's been cheating on her. She takes a little walk in the woods to cool off for a second, comes back to discuss it with him. And he has abandoned her, taken all of their stuff and run basically. And uh, she's trying to march her way, walk her way back to the parking lot where the car is, but she ends up getting lost and she comes across our hero bathing in a river. And he like lives in a cabin in the woods and they get stuck in the cabin together. So that's all I want to mention about that one. But you can go check out my Novellathon reading vlog to figure out my thoughts and everything like that over these three books. Also throughout the whole month of December, whenever I picked up an alien or monster holiday read that was not a part of the Novellathon, I put it in an alien romance reading vlog that I ended up collabing with B from Mama Needs to Read Romance. I did mention a few of those books in my mid-month wrap up, but these are the two that I read after that point. So first is Frost by Ava Ross. Our heroine is delivering presents to a orphanage on a planet but her spacecraft ends up crashing into this guy's barn on the planet and he tries to help her get back to those kids. And then the other one is Krampus and the Crone by Honey Phillips. This takes place on a snowy planet where there are human refugees. Our heroine lives at the top of this mountain and she disguises herself as an old woman in order to go into town so she doesn't get hit on by men. Like she does not want to deal with that. Then our Krampus character in here is an alien whose spacecraft has crashed on the planet and while it's being fixed because he cannot fly out of there right now. He ends up like sending out surveillance bots like throughout the um, planet and comes across our heroine and is immediately intrigued by her and kind of starts like stalking her and admiring her from afar. And yeah, it's their romance. I had a lot of fun reading all these monster holiday reads in um, December. It was so fun and I loved vlogging all of them and um, collabing with B. The last three books that I have to mention are ones that I did not read for a vlog or anything like that. Um, so first is one that I read on Christmas Day. This is Christmas 
on the 13th floor by Lee Ja Kuo. Um, Lee Ja Kuo writes a lot of like holiday themed novellas, like it can be so obscure, like there's one about Labor Day, one about Mother's Day, one about uh, St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> like various different holidays and they're so hot and they have like a certain little hot theme to them, if you will. I'm pretty sure this one is a praise one, if I remember correctly. So this is a personal assistant boss romance. The heroine of the story thinks that her boss is an absolute tyrant, hates his guts, and he asks her to do such bizarre things and she cannot wait to find another job. But then there is the company Christmas party. Uh, I think the hero is finally going to admit his feelings for the heroine because he uh, is totally obsessed with her. So for tropes in this one, it's boss assistant, good girl. Good girl is being said. Um, it's a holiday novella, office romance, and it is a novella. It was just a fun, quick read that um, I just read on Christmas day to pick up something short to finish in a day. Leija Kuo just writes really awesome spice and um, you kind of know what you're getting into with her little short books. Next is a reread for me. I reread Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. Uh, this is my favorite book of 2023. I love this book a lot. I read an arc of it over the summer. I'm really obsessed with it. Um, but the audiobook came out towards the end of 2023 and I finally got off of the waitlist off of my Libby in December. So I decided to listen to it and I loved it so much the second time around. Ugh, sorry if my eyes are all watery. I just did some sneezing. <laughs> anyway, um, the heroine of the story, Wynne and our hero, Bo, end up meeting at a Halloween party. They have a grand old night together. Um, and then Wynne ends up finding out she's pregnant and it's their friend Stilmer's romance with her being pregnant. It is beautiful. It's an ode to people with disabilities. Both these characters have a limb difference. I love this book so much. The audiobook narrators did a fantastic job. It was so well done. And that's all I really want to say about this one because I talk about this book so much. I feel like y'all are probably getting sick of me talking about it. Um, so that's that's out on a limb. And we just have one more book to talk about. Like I'm literally less than 10 minutes into filming. So <laughs> this video is going to be pretty short, um, but I ended up picking up Throttled by Lauren Asher. I've never read a Lauren Asher book, but my lovely friend Tori over at Novel Life absolutely loves one of the books in this series because of the disability representation. And Tori also just loves uh, Formula One racing romances. So um, I really want to get to the one with disability representation. I didn't know which book it was, um, but I just decided to start with book number one. So the book first book is uh, Throttled. Let me know down below also if this is Lauren Asher's first ever book. I'm not honestly sure. I don't know. But anyway, so our heroine of the story, her brother is this Formula One racer and she decides to join him for the season traveling around the world while he races cars. And she's gonna kind of film her experience, like vlog it and stuff like that. This is her romance with her brother's teammate who is known as a like racer playboy essentially. And it's their romance. This book was a fun read. I think I read it all in one day. I read it all yesterday listening to it. Um, so it was a pretty quick read. Personally for me, as somebody who does vlog and do content creation and lives their life on the internet a lot. I just, I um, personally, whenever internet fame or stuff like that is in a book, I personally get the ick. <laughs> I don't know why. I know some of my friends feel the same way. It just makes me cringe. I don't know why. And so that whole part of the book, like I love how she found a passion in her life. Like that is awesome for her. I love that for her. Um, but personally, it's not my favorite thing to read about. I don't, I just, I don't know why. So that's just me and my personal, my personal taste, what I, what I like, you know what I mean? But overall, I felt like this was a great start to a series. And I think we're probably going to be getting um, romances with characters that like side characters that were in this book. There you have it. Those are all of the books that I read in the later half of December, short and sweet. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a car emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.